Hello everyone and welcome to Let's Play Donkey Kong 94 Episode 4. I'm your host, Ultra Director Jester. We're gonna be spending our time in the jungle today, so let's get right on that. These stages uh, aren't exactly all that challenging, but they're very, very tricky, especially when all the vines come in. That's really what this is all about, getting these vines here. A lot of vines in the jungle, go figure. Straightforward to begin with, but things get tricky when we get the key now. We got a spring here, and you can see there's a bit of a gap in these spikes here, so about right there is probably good. And we can just... boing! Just like that! Level's over! Pretty easy, pretty easy. Let's keep the... let's keep it going. And stage two is another viney stage. But this time, we're gonna be using it to try and avoid those little bullets there. Ah! And you can see where it gets a little tricky. Alright, try again. The idea is to just jump at the right time and, uh... Always make sure you know when they're gonna fire, otherwise you're just gonna get... ...fucked over. That was close. Woo! Alright! Once I get over this guy, it should be pretty easy. Also worth mentioning, you can stand on them, so that's always good. Okay, now it's pretty easy once I get the key here. It's kind of over after that. This thing is gonna be something in my way, so there we go! Just need some timing and a little bit of expert maneuverability. Stage 3! Now we're introduced to monkeys! What are monkeys? Well, they're just movable vines. They move very, very slow. But that's okay. This is just a way of introducing them. And the thing about the monkeys is that when they bump into each other, they will turn around, so it's not like they can just keep going on and on. Now, I don't like that crab there, because you can try and grab this key, but you need to quickly move, otherwise it's gonna pinch you. But if you move quickly, you can get to the door, no problem. Okay, first DK stage! Haha! <laughs> This jungle is not even a challenge. But I don't know if we've been introduced to Donkey Kong Jr. yet. I'm not sure if we have or not, but if we haven't, there's his son. He works on a random number generator as to when he will pull a switch or not, because usually when he's, you know, in a, sta in a stage, blah blah blah, he's usually pulling a switch. Here he's... Go, 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 go! Oh, that was close. And I landed on my toes. Huh. Not a fan of Donkey Kong Jr. But I guess he is part of the canon after all. Moving on! Another vignette. Yeah, I think DK is part of the team now. I don't think we've seen him yet. But now we're introduced to mushrooms! All there are are tiny mushrooms that make you shrink for a bit. We're not gonna see those for a few more stages yet, but it's good to introduce, us, introduce them to us right now. And we've reached 50 lives! Let's see if we can keep that. Okay, next one. Stage 5. This one's a pretty... I wouldn't say difficult, but another tricky one. It's very vertical. And if you know what you're doing, you should be fine. These bats don't kill you, but they definitely can try. They suck your blood, and they make you fall if you're on a vine, so... Would not recommend that. These crabs. Oh, duh. there and there. Okay. Hmm. That's always a tricky part, especially if you're trying to do this quickly. While also, while also trying to have interesting commentary to go over it. But look, we have infinite one-ups, so we can be here literally all day. Hell, this could be the twenty-eighth taken. You wouldn't have known. Oh! Oh! Perfect! Would've been great if you hit that bat, too. I'll go ahead and get this key. Oop. The idea is to, well, not get hit by that. Oh, that's terrible. Alright, so the idea is we'll just kinda throw it and go down with it. Perfect. And with that, level's over. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Making great time. Alright, now this stage is probably the most tricky. Just because of all you have to do. We got a key above us that we can't really get. No way to get up to that ledge to skip that, so really we'll just kinda do a couple flips here. Now, they want you to go up first, but we're not doing that. We're just gonna use some flips, and that was probably a terrible mistake I made, but... It's okay, I think we'll still be able to save this. Yeah. As long as you can get back on the other side, you're pretty much golden. So we'll toss that up. Flip up. Set this block right there. And I'll let that run its course. Nah, I still got one up here. But that might be alright. Wait for this bat to pass. Pass that up. Climb on up. And then. And then. Ah! Oh! See, it's very tricky. A lot of frame perfect timing is needed on a lot of things. Sometimes there's cycles that you can't really. Yeah, it's, 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 it's tricky, it's tricky. We'll get it, though. We'll get it, I'll get it. I got it, I got it. Alright. There, that's, that's perfect. Should be easy to get across now. This also counts as your safety net in case you fall, but really the bugs are gonna kill you before you can land on the spikes. This might go a little bit differently now. The idea is that I don't want one of the bugs on this first platform when I'm climbing up. There. That's about ideal. But even more ideal is if, if I could get them on that third platform. I can move up, too. Alright, well, that, that's actually okay. Because I think if I can time this just right... Aw, oh, man. Oh, oh, come on now. Oh. oh, that's bullshit. That's fucking bullshit. Ah, oh, come on. Okay, y'all stay over there. Have, a, have another go around. Move on up. See that motherfucking bat coming this way. Alright, so they're on that third one now. The bat can't get me. I think I might have... Hmm, let's see here. Ugh! Okay, they can still hit me, that's okay. Ugh! No, no, no! Get the- Ooh, get the key, my- Ooh, jeez. This is not... Oh, come on! I guess they can still hit me from right there. That's- that's okay. That's- Oh, fuck it! Ah! Alright, come on, I just need one bug each. There, that's actually completely perfect. Because that bug is focused on one fucking... Alright, go. Go. Wait for the bat to pass. And then up. Up again. And now the level's over if I can do the platforming just right. Oh, thank god. Jesus! So that was probably the most difficult stage in this world, I suppose. The most difficult stage in the jungle. Everything else should be a little bit easier from here on out. Hopefully. Like here, we have another DK Jr. stage, which means that we're at the mercy of his random number generator. And we need the random ge number generator in order to do this well. See, now I can't get up that ladder. And that ladder is crucial. Because if I were to just go over here, that guy would wake up and then he just run over to me. But now that it's up, I just need him to wake up again, and run over here, and then go up the ladder. But then I gotta wait for him to do the, th do the fucking lever again, because the key is all the way on that side. So it's like, shit, man. I'm gonna get this so I can take care of him. I'll dip, ditch that, get the key, hurry and run over here before he can switch again. And just like that, level's over. That was pretty good, because sometimes he'll, like, go over to the switch and seem like he's gonna pull it, but he doesn't. Well, let's get on to the DK stage now.
because now we're being introduced to the mushrooms. Pretty dangerous things. Do not let them touch you, otherwise you're going to be standing around for a little bit. Because you really can't do anything when you're small. You can't climb vines, you can't climb ladders, you can't really even flip. And I'm just having a real bad luck at the RNGs right now. I'm also pretty sure that those mushrooms are locked onto your position. Because he's throwing them right at me, it seems. And please make it. Oh, that's not gonna work. Man, this is not going so well. Alright, here we go. An opening! So the idea is... I need to avoid the mushrooms and that croc so I can get up to Pauline. And got it. Man, with under 100 seconds, that's... That's not optimal. Not at all. Yeah, whatever. Another vignette! And that was a trick we learned- you would have learned from the very first stage of the game. If you were experimenting around. The idea that you can take your hammer and climb up ladders with them. Who cares about that because we're not going to be using hammers a whole lot in the next four stages. Because this one's all about more vines. With monkeys. I actually kind of like this stage. So first off, you go over to the right. You see the key, but we can't get to it. we got to hit that switch that's up top there. So grab on this monkey tail, onto that monkey tail, and onto this vine. Down to that vine. They give you a lot of time, because they want you to explore this huge stage and figure out what exactly you need to do. But I know exactly what you need to do. Take this monkey right across. Right when we get a chance, hop over here. So we can go down here. And then... There you go. You only need one monkey, really. But there's three if you need it. This one monkey can help us across the spikes, obviously! Then, to make sure that you still have the weight of the key open by the time you come back down, otherwise you're gonna have to do it all over again, and, well, <laughs> Who wants to do that shit?! Alright, I got the key, level's over. And we've lost our 50 lives. Because that one fucking thing. That's alright. This next level is probably... Yeah, this is another difficult one, I'd say. Eh, not really. It's tricky, unless you know what to do, because... A lot of these vines are spaced out just perfectly, so you can't exactly... Uh, do the double climb and go up super fast. Really, you have to use these frogs. Yeah, oh! Without killing them. Yeah. Those frogs should really make the stage go by a lot faster, but getting to them is the hard part. Well, especially if this gator's gonna give me problems. You better not be giving me no fucking problems. Pick up the key! Okay. Alright, if I get it over to that frog, it's over. Yep, it's over, because I can just switch that and- oh! That was some bad luck. But hey, at least we beat it with over 200 seconds, which is really what I was aiming to do. We're gonna get a lot of time here. Alright, next stage! I think this is the one I was thinking about. Yeah, this is... Well, this is the one that has more mushrooms in it. Ah. <laughs> Oops! There's an easier way to do that. You gotta just... You leap on him, and then you do. Hmm. I've had him, like, jump, like, really high before. I swear I've, I've gotten up there. I just practiced this, like, five minutes ago, and it was super easy. Damn it! Fine, I guess I'm gonna have to do it the real way. While well, avoiding all these goddamn mushrooms! Yeah, you can't do any of your moves when you're like that. You're pretty much locked to NES Donkey Kong Mario at that point. Whoa, that one was fast! 
There's that asshole Donkey Kong Jr. Where is he? Where'd he go? Oh, there he is. You really don't want to get hit with the mushroom right there, otherwise you'll drop the key and then you have to do it all over again. I swore there was a way to get in there. I don't know how to... Whatever. It doesn't matter. Last stage! My patience is running thin! This one's pretty, pretty damn easy. Except there's a new twist now. All the barrels will now leak out mushrooms from now until the end of the game. You could, you know, do the whole thing of going all across the stage to get the barrels, but if you just want to make it easy on yourself, we'll just kind of wait here for one of the barrels so you can throw them one. It also keeps you out of the way of the mushrooms so that we don't have to worry about that either. Or trying to flip so you can hit the barrels at the very... Oh! I got to talk and I didn't get to... Moving in time! Ah! Today's moral is, when you're doing a Let's Play, make sure you finish the level you're Let's Playing. Alright, one more head ought to do it. Just gotta wait for the one more barrel to land. And it's practically over after this. And gone. Sheesh. This is an annoying world. Ugh. Well, at least we got uh, a bit of points, though. And now for a new vignette, for a new item. A special destructive kind of hammer! That will have more use in the next stage, and we'll get to the next stage next time on Let's Play Donkey Kong 94! This episode was a train wreck, I'm sorry.